How's it going? My name is Cameron, also known as Venus Theory, and in this video I'm here to give you guys a quick overview of the new Phase Plant Synthesizer from Kilohertz. Phase Plant is a new semi-modular synth from Kilohertz that features the Snap-in ecosystem, so this is an incredibly powerful tool for both sound designers and music producers. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so what we have in front of us here is the main UI of Phase Plant, and Phase Plant is broken down into three distinct sections. We have generators, modulators, and effects. So the generators would be the things that produce sound. So we have a couple different oscillator types here. We have analog, which includes all the basic waveforms. We have noise, which allows us to shape the noise between brown and white. We have sampler, which is a sampler that you can load in samples. Uh, there's also a bunch included in the factory library here, which is great. Then we have wavetable, which is a wavetable oscillator, which includes a whole bunch of different wavetables in the factory library. And uh, you have full control over creating your own, which we'll touch on in the next video. Also within the generator section, there's a couple of effects. We have a distortion, so you can insert distortion at any point during the generator here. And then we have a filter, so this allows us to switch between the standard filter types. So this is a state variable filter that you can insert at any point in the generator section. Beyond that, we also have a couple of utilities in the generator section. We have group, which allows us to create a group. Aux, which allows us to create an auxiliary section. Mix, which allows us to have a leveler or a mixer inserted into the generator. And then we have output, which allows us to have an output sent to the output of any of the lanes over here in the effects section. So let's go ahead and take a look at modulators and modulation inside of phase plant. So we have a couple different modulator types. There's an envelope, which is just a standard envelope. LFO, which is an LFO that has all the basic shapes built in. You can also create your own or set it to one shot mode to create a multi-step envelope generator. You can also set these to free or sync. We have the random, which is a sample and hold or sample and glide type LFO. So this allows you to create some really interesting randomized modulations. We have MIDI, so we can send aftertouch to anything we'd like. The note, pressure or velocity. And then there's a couple utilities, which are maximum, minimum and multiply, which are handy for more complex patches and a couple other things. So when it comes to modulation, there's a couple of different types. There's standard modulation and audio rate modulation. So let's take a look at both of those within phase plant here. So I've got two analog oscillators and a filter. So for a basic modulation, what I could do is set this envelope with this orange plus icon to target the filter cutoff. So now as I play a note here, if I adjust this envelope, this is going to change the filter cutoff point. We can also do audio rate modulation in the generator section. So using the second analog oscillator, which is below the output, I can use this green icon to create audio rate modulation of the saw analog oscillator. So right now I'm modulating the phase with the sine wave. We could also adjust the shift or semi tuning here. So we can create linear and exponential FM this way, as well as phase modulation. Uh, with the phase, which allows us to do a whole bunch of different things for sound design purposes, which is excellent. So now let's dive into the effects section. So the effects are broken up into three lanes, and these lanes can be routed any way you'd like, which is really nice. So we have our output here, so we could send this analog oscillator to lane one, lane two, lane three, directly to the master output, or to the sideband input of any of the effects that support sideband. So in this case, I wanna send this analog oscillator to lane one. Within lane one, we can load any of the snap-ins, and for presets that use different snap-ins that you don't own, those will actually work fully, you just can't tweak the parameters of the snap-ins you don't own. But you can cherry pick and buy the ones you like or get the complete collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a quick filter to this first lane. This is going to send to lane two, and in lane two, I'm going to add a frequency shifter. I wanna mix this in at 50%. I'm just gonna shift this up by 1.5 Hertz. Then this is going to be sent to lane three, and on lane three, we could add a quick reverb with just a very short decay and very small size, and we get this. So now using a modulator, we could add a quick envelope to this. So we'll go ahead and create an envelope, and I'm gonna target the filter with this envelope. We'll go ahead and do that. Then I wanna create an LFO, and I want the LFO to target the mix of lane two here. So I'm gonna set this to zero, and now this LFO, if we slow this down, is going to target the mix. So we can set this to be unipolar. We'll add more decay to this envelope here, and then maybe a quick delay right before this reverb. So we'll set this to sync mode, mix it in like so. We could add some unison and detuning here. A 
We'll go ahead and add a random uh, right here with the sample and glide. So I'm gonna adjust the smoothing. I'm gonna target this to the sink of this oscillator here. There we go. We'll set this to unipolar. All right. So now we've got a basic synth lead patch. So from here, we could do a couple of other things. We could add glide by enabling glide. We'll set this here. We don't need global unison, but we could add global unison down here. We'll set the polyphony to one voice, and I want this to be re-triggered, but you could set this to legato. The master pitch, we're gonna leave it as it is. We'll set the bend rage to 12, so that'll be one octave. Everything else should be all set. So from here, we could add a couple different macros. So I wanna set the mod wheel to also target the filter cutoff. So we could drop that down lower, and now as I move the mod wheel, that'll adjust the cutoff point of the filter. We could set macro one to target the feedback of the delay. Then I could right click and CC learn this to my controller, which I've already done. So now if I move that uh, corresponding controller knob here, that will adjust the delay feedback. And we get eight different macros that we can utilize to create more complex and interesting patches with lots of small subtle modulations or something totally completely insane. But you can see this allows us a lot of flexibility for patch creation and you can do a whole lot of things. So then we'll go ahead and add one more analog oscillator here and I wanna use an audio rate modulation on the phase. And I'm gonna set macro two to target the level here. So I wanna target this by 50%. We'll drop this down to zero. And we can tie this macro to another controller here. And as I move that, maybe mix in a bit more delay. We could adjust the mod wheel as we play. And now we get a nice synth lead patch that we can use. Nice. And that's it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. And if you want to check out more information on Phase Plant, you can find that today at kilohearts.com.